Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I wanted to do a short video on how to import a CSV file into QuickBooks Online. Pretty straightforward process, but what if you run into an error? And there's definitely can happen where there's errors in the CSV import where QuickBooks maybe doesn't see a column or a box and it just doesn't communicate. And this actually is born out of a, a problem we had this past few weeks, we've had trouble connecting our uh, HubDoc account to Chase and our bank feeds to Chase. As you probably know, Intuit changed the way the bank feeds uploaded into QuickBooks, and there's now this direct connect connection. And the client actually had to go on and do the connect connecting for us. We couldn't use our own connection that we had for you know view only. They didn't work. It had to be the owner of the account. So because of that, I had to reach out to a lot of my clients. A lot of them, I encourage them to please use Chase or Bank of America as the only banks because they work the best. They're big, not because they're great banks, but because they're big. And we usually have no problems with the connections, but we did have a problem. Eventually down the road, I noticed after, um, after all of them broke on HubDoc and on QuickBooks Online with Chase credit card in particular, I noticed that the bank statement changed significantly, like completely different look. And I learned from Matthew Fulton, my business partner in crime, that when a bank does that and changes the way it looks, you know, the, the, when the bank feeds are mapped out, they're mapped out to specific locations on their website when they connect. And if the bank changes around all those locations, it disconnects the feed. And that's probably what happened here. I mean, the feed, the look of the credit card statement looked different. I'm assuming that they like revamped their website too. I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but so in the post that accompanies this video, I'll link you to um, pretty interesting, I think a really good article that Matthew wrote on bank feeds. It's a three-parter. And also I will link you to um, some things we have fun going on because we're headed out to Canada and I will, let me share my screen and take you to, here's the post, beginning of the post here, uploading the CSV. And then I'll take you to our Facebook page. So if you want to follow us while we go to QuickBooks Connect Canada, which is actually next weekend, um, love to have you in our group. It's called QB Community Live. And if you join us in our group, just uh, reach out, either find me through Linda Ardisani or Ardisani Bookkeeping or QB Community Live group. And if you reach out to us in the group, I'll put you in the group. You'll get to follow our, our whole experience up in Canada. You got a Floridian who just turned the air conditioning up to 80 because I was cold. <laughs> and it's pretty hot and humid out here still. Uh, Matthew's in Southern California. He has very similar weather. I definitely adapted well when I went there. Not sure how we're going to adapt well in Canada in the winter, but we'll find out. Lots of layers, I'm told, by the Canadians. So it's going to be a fun experience because we're going, um, as a pack, going there to represent the U.S. and also hang out with the Canadians because they're great people. We had a ton of fun with them. Um, I'm on the Intuit Advisory Council. We had a fun time with them on that. They actually merged the two groups. And also, we just had fun at QB Community, um, QB Connect in San Jose. So it's going to kind of be a little offshoot of that. We're going to go up and have fun and do what we did before videotape the conference itself, videotape the experience, the parties, the after parties, the, the sessions, interview the people who are there, and just have a great time. So you'll, you can follow that if you join our group or if you follow us on our pages. But we'd love to have you in our group because our group is there to help you. If you have any questions with QuickBooks, we moderate it. Matthew and I are the admins, so we moderate it, we answer it, we, we keep an eye on it, so we answer the questions. So if you have any questions about QuickBooks, you can reach out to us that way if you join our group. So I'm going to take you to HubDoc. Uh, here's a Chase account that I had a problem with, and all I did was come over and I downloaded this file, right? So I grabbed the CSV, where, which is here. So I grabbed the CSV, and it looks like a bunch of garbage, right? I just downloaded it. So I just take it and downloaded it. And now um, it opened in numbers because I'm on a Mac, but I'll just disregard that for now. Come over to my QuickBooks sample file, right? So my sample file, my sample company file. I'm going to go over to banking and I'm going to just import that file, right? So I'm going to assume it's good. It's correct. It's got everything going on that's perfect. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to import this beautiful file, open it up. Now I'll hit next. I'm going to select 
my account that it's connecting to, which is just my chase hit next. And there's a little bit of mapping to be done. Normally, um, sometimes it doesn't find everything here. It actually was pretty smart. It found the post date and it found I wanted it as month, day, and year. It found description, matched the column for a description. On the amount, it says select a field because it didn't find it. And I'm going to select the amount column. So I'm going to code that in. And then I want both positive and negative numbers. I don't want two columns. So I'm going to hit next and something's not right. So there's clearly something wrong on my CSV. Something didn't work out right here. And then there's another one here and I can go down here and just didn't map out. So you might think, well, if I select all and just unselect the two that have the red box, I should be fine and then just keep going, right? And it doesn't work that way. As you can see, I can hit next all day long. It won't happen. So I'm just going to cancel the whole process. I'm going to go back to my um, file here, and I'm just going to open it. Because I'm in Excel, I'm going to open it with a Microsoft Excel. Uh, because I'm in a Mac, I'm going to open it in Microsoft Excel because I don't work in numbers at all. And I can expand my columns. And obviously, you can do a little bit of cleanup here if you want you know, to see what's going on. And you can see here's the two, here's the two problem transactions here. You can see here's the two that just turned red boxes and, and would not import. And what's wrong with them? Well, the word ink is where the amount would be. So into it, um, QuickBooks can't read that. And then also recreation is a one or something in there. So what I need to do here is I just need to cut this and just move it over here and paste it. So now that the amount's in the right box and same thing over here, I'll just grab these two, right click, cut, uh, cut, and then bring it over here and then right click, paste. So simple, simple um, cleanup, and I'll just take off the highlight here. I don't think the highlight would have an issue, but I just highlighted that so you can see um, where that is. And then I have to save this, right? Because I wanna save it as a new, so I'm just gonna hit save. Save it, so I just save it, I overwrite, overwrote what was there. I want to go back and do that same process, right? So back to banking, the banking tab on the left, back to file upload, grab that same CSV file right here, the one I had before, open it, do the same mapping that I've already done, find that account, the checking, uh, the credit card. I'm just going to put it to the parent because it's actually pulling in the CSV for both the subcategories. So just pull it all through the parent. Hit next. I have to map that one field hit next. And then it selected everything because there's no errors this time, right? It figured out what was wrong and, and I've changed it, made it, I corrected it. So now it's, it's okay, right? So I can hit next. And do I want to import the 78 using the fields that I chose? So, you know, there's not a lot to worry about here. If, if this imports and it's not anything you want, there's not a lot of risk here in QuickBooks online because it's all going to go into the, 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 um, for review, right? So if this didn't work out well, I can always just select it all and just exclude it and get rid of it. And it didn't affect my bank account at all because it's just sitting in the for review. It's like a holding tank. It's a place to hold the transactions. You don't have to bring them in. If there's duplicates, you don't bring them in. And also it's a place that you can, um, you know, if you brought all these transactions in and say you only need a few of them, you can download a few of them. Maybe there's a duplicate, you can take off the duplicate. And then, of course, you're going to reconcile this whole bank account at the end to make sure it's right. So know that you're, there's really no risk in doing this because they're not going to put, they're not, they're non-posting at this point. So they're not going to get imported into the bank account. And then obviously, if you want to put them in, you can accept them all. They'll get put into the account. You'll go reconcile. And obviously, you'll go through all of them and make sure you've had the payees put in and you do have all the categories put in. And then once they're in, they're in and you're good to go to reconcile. And then you can make sure that everything's correct. So that is my short video here on exactly how to import um, a CSV file that maybe has an error and that you need to open it up in Excel and kind of clean it up a little bit. I hope that's helpful. I hope you follow us, join our group, QuickBooks Community Live, and um, join our group. Be socially active if you want, or just sit back and watch, kind of get the experience of QuickBooks Connect Canada, and um, reach out to us if you have any questions. We're more than happy to help. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And um, if you have any suggestions for another video, let me know. And we'll see you, uh, actually we'll see you in QuickBooks Connect next week. Bye now.